Hey everyone, what is up? Today I'm going to go over two e-commerce solutions that I really like to use on my own personal websites. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, my name is Tim and I'm a software engineer. So I certainly have coding background experience to be able to work with these two solutions. If you have no experience at all with coding, these probably aren't the best solutions to use. But if you want to learn, I have a course called Zero Startup in 30 Days where we go from zero coding knowledge to a full e-commerce website hosted for free and you can check that out at usefullyuseful.ly to subscribe. Now, when I'm looking at different solutions to build out e-commerce platforms or websites or blogs for clients, I'm typically looking at the easiest ones for the client to use and update certain sections of the website. So it's important to have a CMS or content management system to say, update the homepage image or update products without needing my help as a developer. So for that, I really like Shopify's entry level pricing plan of $30 a month. You get a theme up and running pretty quickly and it's super easy to get running and clear where everything is at within the back end of Shopify's website. But if you have just a little bit of coding knowledge or you're interested in taking the Zero to Startup class, there's two options that I love to use for myself. And that is actually the Shopify Lite plan, which they don't even advertise in the pricing structure of Shopify's pricing plans. Uh, if you click on Shopify pricing, the lowest one is $30. The next one I think is like 50 or $60. Then it goes all the way up to 80. And basically it could be super expensive for large companies. But they also have another feature called Shopify Lite, which is basically just a buy button. So if you have access to your website's code, it's pretty simple to copy and paste a couple line of codes and it just adds a button that you click on and there's a fully functioning checkout process that is already there with the Shopify button that you don't have to worry about working. Shopify does a great job at their checkout process and making sure everything works flawlessly and this is included in the buy button. Unlike the $30 version of Shopify though, it's self-hosted. So you have to be able to build your own website and then just add the button in there, which is a product. So you have to add your own product images, your own description. The only thing you get is the button, but that allows you to add it to a cart, check the cart, and then check out and get a payment for that. So it's only giving you the bare essentials of an e-commerce website. But if you know how to build a static website, then that's perfect, that's all you need. And if your website has less than five products, then this solution works phenomenally. It's cheap, it's flexible, and it's quick to get up and running if you already have a static or any other type of website up and running. It also gives you the ability to buy through Facebook. So if you have a big Facebook following, you could add a Shopify button to allow people to check out through Facebook. They don't even have to leave the Facebook page. And then with the Shopify Lite plan, you have the same exact backend as you would with any other Shopify plan. So you have all the same features, of products, of orders, of customers, and you can reach out to them. One thing you don't have is analytics though, since you're not hosting it on there anymore, you don't have that analytics, and you don't have that blog feature. But for the Zero to Startup class, we actually add our own blogs, so we don't need any of that. And if you know a little bit coding, it gives you a lot more flexibility on what you could do with the Shopify button. Now, another option that is very similar pricing wise to the Shopify button is Snipcart. So Snipcart is basically a full e-commerce solution for static websites. So if you already have a website, a static website or a website on WordPress or a website basically anywhere, you could copy and paste the code that they give you to create a product and then have any type of products already in your site. So it gives you a full backend solution to have customers, to have subscriptions, to have orders, to follow up on those orders, to have abandoned carts. So if someone went to your site, added an item to your cart, and never actually checked out, it'll automatically follow up saying that you forgot to check out or give them a promotion or something. This is They have a lot of features that some of the more expensive plans don't have, and it's because they don't have to worry about hosting. So once again, this is perfect if you know just a little bit of coding knowledge and already have a static website up and running. There's no security issues to worry about. There's no hosting to worry about if you're using GitHub pages or any other type of free hosting. And it's super fast with a static website. So there's so many different advantages to using both of these options with a static website that you really wouldn't have to worry about some of the more expensive options. But, 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 you have to know some coding experience to be able to use both of these options. So these two options are very, very similar in pricing. They're both around $10 a month, but in different ways. 
the Shopify like button is always a fee of $10 a month no matter what. On top of that, you have the processing fees, so credit card processing fees. If you're using the Shopify processor, uh, it's only 2% per transaction. But if you're using, say, Stripe or PayPal or any other processor, it's the 2% plus 2.9%, so a total of 4.9% per fee. Now, Snipcart is very similar as well. The least amount you're gonna pay is $10 a month. But as soon as you start getting customers, it just goes to, it removes the $10 a month and you start getting charged 2% plus 2.9%. So the same thing uh, as Shopify Lite button. And that's 2% to Snipcart and 2.9% to the pro credit card processor, whether it be Stripe or PayPal. It gives you all those options. So it's basically the same pricing. Uh, Snipcart though is the one that I picked because it has more features. The abandoned cart feature is something that a lot of other adoptions don't have. Subscriptions is really the main one, main reason why. My site is subscriptions. If you have a $29 a month subscription fee, you get access to all the videos and all the code, and that's a monthly recurring option. That is an add-on within Shopify Lite, and so that increases the price. It's something that comes naturally with the snip card option. And while I use the snip card option in my own website, I would absolutely suggest both of these in your own website. The checkout process through Shopify is a little bit nicer, but with snip card, it's more flexible. So Shopify, you can't change the checkout process at all, but snip card, you have full flexibility to make it look or do however you please. So in the zero to startup in 30 day course, I'm gonna go over integrating both options into our static website. And if you're interested in learning more, go to usefully, useful.ly to subscribe, get all the step-by-step -step tutorials along with the code for each step. So you can just build out your own website from scratch and save a ton of money on hosting fees or any of these other options that cost 30, 40, $50 a month. See ya.